Thanks for staying with us. Federal investigators will come to southern Wisconsin to try to figure out how and why a plane crashed this morning, killing two people. The crash happened around 920 this morning near the southern Wisconsin Regional Airport in Janesville. Crews were called to a wooded area just about a mile south of the airport. They found the plane upside down, lying in mud and water. Both people on board were killed, but the sheriff's office is not releasing their names yet. People who live near the crash site did what they could to help crews reach the people in the plane, including one man who guided teams through the woods. And Gabriella Becerra spoke with him. She's live in Rock County tonight. Gabby, how difficult was this search? Well, law enforcement is blocking the path they took into the wooded area to search for that plane crash this morning, but one man tells us he ran into the woods to find it. It wasn't so much what he saw. Disappeared behind the trees and I heard a crunch. But what Richard Pollock heard this morning. He lived around the airport long enough that I know what a normal plane sounds like and this was, was it normal. Pollock was coming back from a walk when he noticed the plane go down in the woods just south of the southern Wisconsin Regional Airport. See this, we have a caller that sees the plane. The Rock County Sheriff's Office confirmed the small plane crashed shortly after taking off around 9 a.m. It went down near Happy Hollow Park along the Rock River. I couldn't get anywhere near it. I tried walking out as, you know, to see if I could get to it, but I kept breaking through the ice and sinking in the mud. Pollock helped direct them, but emergency crews faced the same problem getting to the site. It's a very rural area on the edge of the Happy Hollow Park, a treacherous area to get to right on the edge of the water. The plane is going to be upside down in the creek. Crews were able to get to the plane by airboat around 45 minutes after it crashed. Both passengers inside were dead. And it was real evident that the train did hit several trees, which uh, tore the wings off of the, uh, the fuselage. And so the plane, I'm sure, with uh, the glide slope coming into the trees, probably caused the inversion of the fuselage. The sheriff's office described the plane as unique and experimental. It looked kind of like a, a bubble or, you know, a, a teardrop shaped. The sheriff's office says the pilot radioed for help and tried to get back to the airport, but never made it. The crash will stick with Pollock, who knows what he saw heard and now feels after a tragic morning. Just wished I could have got out there. I wish I could have got to the plane to see if I could could save anybody. Rock County Sheriff's Office will continue to guard the site until the National Transportation Safety Board takes over the investigation and their reports can take a year or more to come back.